for a very long time. He's one person who looked up to me for advice, for direction. And he was, he was very, very respectful, uh, very hardworking. And so it came as a huge shock, you know, especially for his age, only 37. And it goes to tell you that, you know, uh, life can be snapped away from you anytime, you know. So we keep on praying to God. We keep on looking after ourselves, you know, indulging in things in a very, very moderate manner. And I think that will go a long way to help us. It's weird. The way you hear somebody, I think I listened to him on Wednesday or so, or Thursday. I think it was at the budget, interviewing some people, only to hear that he's dead. He's dead. It's, it's bizarre. I don't want to start saying media work is tough or anything. Life is very weird, and we just have to see it as a gift. When people die, it's a time to reflect. I really feel for his wife and his, his child because it's such a big vacuum to leave. He was a really nice guy. Um, I, I want to send condolences to the family of, of, of Kaba and, of course, the multimedia group as well. And I think that those of us who are alive have to make the rest of our days more meaningful because nobody knows the hour they'll be called. So, really, really tragic. Let's hope he's in a better place. I don't know, it's, um, it's still numb, you know? Um, I didn't even know he had um, health issues. I had no idea. But you see, it, again, it's, it tells you that we should take care of ourselves and also be, be conscious of um, the times we live in, you know? May his soul rest in peace. What can I say? Uh, my, my heart goes out to um, his wife that he left behind and I believe um, a child as well. So it is very sad and we've lost um, a very talented, gifted and uh, intelligent um, uh, journalist broadcaster, you know. So may his soul rest in peace.